morning. We pray together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear friends, in the many times that we are guided by the Lord in the things that we do and the graces that we receive, we know that we have failed. We come to you today and we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I pray to sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask us to marry every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may teach you by our soul and our deeds. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God. Reading from the book of Sirach. Like a fire, there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered. In his zeal, he reduced them to straits. By the Lord's word, he shut out, shut out the heavens and three times brought down fire. How awesome I am, Elijah! In your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours, you brought a dead man back to life from the nether world by the will of the Lord. You sent kings down to destruction and easily broke their power into pieces. You brought down nobles from their beds of sickness. You heard threats at Sinai and poor of avenging judgment. You anointed kings who should inflict vengeance, and a prophet as your successor. You were taken aloft in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come, to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of fathers toward their sons, and to re-establish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you, and who falls asleep in your friendship. For we live only in our life, but after death our name will not be such. O Elijah, enveloped in the whirlwind. Then Elisha, filled with a twofold portion of his spirit, wrought many marvels by his mere word, word. During his lifetime he feared no one, nor was any man able to intimidate his will. Nothing was beyond, beyond his power. Beneath him, flesh was brought back into life. In life he performed wonders, and after death, marvelous deeds. The word of the Lord. Amen. 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 Responsorial Psalm. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. 
Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are his foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and consumes his foes round about. His lightnings illumine the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice. All people see his glory. We rejoice in the Lord and Jesus. All who worship graven things are put to shame. Who glory in the things of God? All gods are prostrate before him. We rejoice in the Lord and Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons, to which we cry, Abba, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. An author once wrote in his reflection, You cannot pray the Lord's Prayer, he said, and even once say I in this prayer. You can pray the Lord's Prayer and even once say, Mine. Nor can you pray the Lord's Prayer and not pray for another. For when you pray, for when you ask for daily bread, you must include your brother. For others, are included in each and every plea. From the beginning to the end of it, it is not once saved me. That is why when his disciples in today's gospel ask him to, to teach them to pray, he replies by teaching the prayer, Our Father, thus creating a model that is so concrete. The Jewish people are noted for their devotion to prayer. Formal prayer is prescribed for three times a day. And the rabbis had a prayer for every occasion, but Jesus warns his disciples against formalistic prayer. 
That is, making prayer something mechanical and devoid of meaning. It teaches not only the words, but it teaches that in our talk with God, there must be complete, sincere, and full openness to approach God in prayer confidently, simply and with upright intention. To pray with trust and faith in the living God and the Father. So in the Gospel today, there is, I think, two things that is so important that we can remember so vividly in the prayer that Jesus teaches us. The prayer talks about a Father who provides. He's there, He knows what He needs, and He provides for every single need that we have. You probably will raise your hand and say, Father, <laughs> I've been praying for this intention, for that intention, and never received it. Probably you will have to stop for a while and say, What are you asking for? What are you asking for? As we have already said, the prayer of our Father is not just for me and my. Needs. And secondly, Christ teaches to pray in common. Our Father is the prayer that draws all Christians together. It's something that is very special. It's not just my prayer, and I pray this because I want to pray. What's so special in Jesus' prayer today is that we begin to recognize that prayer is not just a one-man band. It brings us to be connected with other people's prayer. How beautiful it is that we are a church. That as I pray, I pray with prayers of others and get connected to the prayers of the saints, to the prayers of the Blessed Mother, to the prayers of everyone. So it's just me asking for this or for that. And then that, in a way, consoles me in my times of needs. It makes me understand that I belong to the family of God. That as, that as I sit or I stand or as I kneel in prayer, before I say and open my mouth to ask the Lord for prayer, I am already asking something that others are already praying with me. How beautiful it is to know that to understand that, to hear that, that others are praying for me during my time singing and during those moments when I needed the strength, when I needed the understanding, when I needed the consolation in my prayer. My brothers and my sisters are there praying with me. That's what this very short prayer is all about. And if we can remember that all the time, then we know that our heart will be at peace. Do not bother, as Jesus says. But when we start, we get mixed up with words. We get torn with words and we are just swimming in the words that we say. Focus. Focus on the presence of the God 
who is there with you and focus in the need that you have said to this God and focus in the presence of the saints praying with you today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all stand and offer our prayers. Merciful and loving God, you have blessed us today with the prayer from the mouth of Christ who is teaching us today how to pray. <clears throat> May we learn to trust you. We pray for the Lord. That in our prayers we bring out the cry of our hearts today and continue to understand the meaning of prayer and be connected with you in our prayers today. We pray for the Lord. Amen. And we come to bring the needs of our brothers and sisters who are ill, our brothers and sisters who are hungry, our brothers and sisters who have no shelter. We pray for the Lord. Amen. And we also pray for peace among our brothers and sisters who will continue to cry during their trouble, we pray for the Lord. And this Mass is being offered for Basilio Monares, Jesus Padilla, Belinda de la Fuente, and of a special intention for Milet Barcus, we pray for the Lord. Heavenly Father, we are your children who come to you in our needs. We pray that you can console us, you will, that you can be there in our prayers, for you are our loving God, now and forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands is to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Pray with your friends that the sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. Amen. God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through the Paschal mystery, He accomplished the marvelous deed by which He has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession. To proclaim everywhere your mighty words, and you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
We sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of us. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified of God and love the human race and always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst. When we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples are not for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when Sakura was ended, the chalice gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led to his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the word of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the passing sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to be to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and place our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Padre Pio, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you. Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth and sins in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Yes. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Now, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Now, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Now, God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold, the now of God, the only who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. God is say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may you bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and love of the Lord.